Now, clinical research is something we have been good at over the years, and this is a truly multi-professional uh, clinical research body where we have representation of the past five years at every national and international trade thoracic surgical meeting. But they tend to be clinical uh, reviews, uh, single, single um, European <coughs> studies. And the, in red here I've put where our medical students, our dietitians, and our um, junior colleagues have actually won prizes at these very esteemed situations. I personally look after five integrated BSc students with uh, good projects as well, two MSc and two, two PhDs. With database studies, Mike and um, Ben alluded to the fact we've got a lot of electronic data. With that volume of activity that we have, uh, I'm a gold elite member of the International Family Malignancy Group. Ten years ago, they didn't know who we were, and it's gratifying and humbling to have guys from Yale and from Stanford phoning up on a monthly basis saying, gee, Al, can you help us with this? What do you think? This is something that we didn't have in thoracic surgery in Scotland uh, a few years ago. I'm also a member of the uh, European Society for Thoracic Surgeons Chess Wall Study Group, which is largely database, um, both involved in rib fractures and cosmetic pectus repair. And we've got a developing um, uh, thromboembolic prophylaxis group. We also, as Ben said earlier on, collaboration, collaboration, collaboration. I think part of what we do, or you do with the, the Right Heart Study, is collaborative. Um, Noir um, mentioned the collaboration with Edinburgh University, which we do with thoracic surgery too. However, what you do want to hear is not about our retrospective clinical projects, it's our portfolio research. And at present, we have six open studies and one about to develop. The, most of them are eligibly funded. The POMIC study, um, the, department, the TRANSFORM study, is in fact commercial, the rest are all eligibly funded and this is not funded at the present. So I'm going to go through these one by one. Transform, um, Transform and Palmic are two studies that I'm going to present in poster form later on today. This really has been, Transform has been a practice changing study for us. It involves the use of small implantable end bronchial valves and a device trial in patients with advanced emphysema that would otherwise probably require lung transplantation. This was a poorly recruiting study in Europe the company came to us because of our large volume and our ability to deliver, and we ended up uh, fully recruiting uh, in this centre, and we were the biggest recruiting centre in the whole of Europe. So that, that I'll tell you later on, has been practice changing. Palmic is a lung section removing pulmonary metastases from patients with colorectal disease. Advances in colorectal disease have meant that in my day as a registrar, you either lived or died, you got your colon resection, if you're alive a year later you're cured, and if you weren't, you weren't. Whereas now with advances in um, new adjuvant therapies, surgery, anaesthetic care, patients are surviving in large numbers from colorectal cancer, but developing pulmonary metastases. And we have got um, a big recruiting centre, both registry and a randomised controlled trial of removing these metastases. And we have in Western Scotland a uh, massive public health problem with um, the mesothelioma, the, the asbestos-related pleural cancer, and we collaborate with the um, respiratory physicians in uh, Papworth, providing them with material that both we and they and others can research this, this miserable, miserable disease. Tracer X has just opened with us. We haven't recruited anyone yet. This involves looking at targeted, personalised therapy by tracking cancer with genetics to try and get individualised patient treatment. Okay, back to mesothelioma, we are um, an investigating centre just about to open for doing <coughs> radical surgery in patients with mesothelioma. We were actually um, uh, the only Scottish centre in the world one trial, and the day I recruited my first patient, unfortunately, it closed. We've now got a more, um, a better operation with the MARS 2. Noir has already mentioned about a randomised clinical trial of pre-operative um, optimization, prehabilitation in patients undergoing cardiac or thoracic surgery, and that is run by our physiotherapy colleagues. Again, just hopefully going to open in the near future. Again, back to mesothelioma, a major public health problem in Western Scotland is the, the trying to improve patients' quality of life by doing innovative surgical techniques. 
At the present, I've had been chief investigator. I completed a phase one study with Lent in Germany, and we were again looking at the volume of activity we do. We are attractive to both funding agencies as well as industry. We're the highest recruiter by far in the UK in the Royal Council Lung Cancer Cohort Study from the University of Southampton. And as I mentioned, we've got these studies currently open. We collaborated with a number of others, publishing Lancet Oncology uh, last year. And again, because of our activity, uh, we were asked to participate as in, in the Data Monitoring and Ethics Committee for a study in, in surgery down south. My 2020 vision, I want to continue what we've done. I think it's great for personal development of my junior colleagues and trainees. I think it's great for allied health professionals. It's great for institutional rep um, rep reputation that we have a continued interest in clinical research. I want to see our current uh, portfolio of studies expanded. And I want to expand the consultant workforce, not just necessarily to get more work done, but one of my problems in, de in delivering good research projects is having time to do them. So not only do I want to expand the workforce, I want to take the existing workforce I want to take on PI and CI um, and responsibilities. Thoracic Surgical Research Fellow, I'm halfway through trying to get funding for, for that, which will in, in, increase our throughput. And although we're excellent at producing presentations of high profile at international meetings, we lack in our department good quality publications. And that is my vision for the next two years. Thank you, Richard.